my review of Gucci Guilty Elixir. Before I share my thoughts on the new Gucci Guilty Elixir, I would highly appreciate a like on this video. Thank you and make sure you subscribe. Some of the notes in Gucci Guilty Elixir are orange blossom, nutmeg, pimento seeds, oris, osmanthus, amber figs, vanilla, benzoin and patchouli. This to me goes straight into a big dose of a fizzy kind of amber and soft powderiness. There's also a super rich but smooth kind of spiciness and a bit of florals. With a smooth kind of spiciness, I mean the kind that doesn't sting your nose. It's rich and it's right there but in a sort of a smooth and soft way and with soft powderness I mean that it's definitely powdery but not in an intense in your face kind of way this is powdery but it's absolutely not Diorum intense powdery or sort of a Valentina or more intense kind of powdery it's an ambery powdery and slightly fresh opening with a rich but smooth dose of spices and a prominent floral side to it and there's something sort of fizzy going on it stays like this for a while and as it starts to head into the mids a creamy vanilla comes in and the whole thing slowly starts to get less fizzy and spicy a lot warmer and a lot more focused on vanilla together with a prominent dose of white florals the intense amber part is still there but it's a bit softer than in the opening the mids through to the drawdown is probably my very favorite part of it because the vanilla is so creamy with that floral aspect still going on and everything being a bit ambery and powdery as it dries down the patchouli really comes forward and it's a warm slightly woody ambery and vanillic scent with a soft hint of spiciness to it and it's sort of a soft powdery the full dry down to me is all about a powdery vanilla with that sort of a classic patchouli scent and everything being a bit ambery and slightly sweet. It's like the amberiness gets a bit toned down in the dry down, giving room for its powderiness. The opening and its sort of a fizzy amberiness it gives me Dior Ombre Nuit vibes. They are, however, not the same. The rest of the scent sort of uh, gives me Chopo Gautier vibes mixed with that classic Gucci Guilty DNA. It's got a big dose of vanilla, which is something you can find in a lot of Chopo Gautier fragrances. It's a bit spicy and it's a bit powdery, but what really pulls it away from that sort of a Champo Gautier vibe is its prominent floral side and how amber it is. So how do I feel when I wear Gucci Guilty Elixir? I get a flirty kind of vibe from it and to me it's like a mix of something fun, something flirty and something elegant. So what about compliments and reactions from others? I've only had this for a short period of time and I usually wear multiple fragrances throughout the course of a day, but I worn it a lot during that time and already racked up three compliments. It's strong enough to easily get noticed and it's definitely the kind of scent a lot of people would think smell nice. So how's the performance? Based on my wearing experience, the performance is great. I usually spray quite a bit. But with this, I went with less than usual and it stayed on my skin for a long time with a solid projection. I know some of my subscribers feel that this is a beast mode fragrance. I, however, don't think it's quite beast mode. It's definitely strong. So when should you use Gucci Guilty Elixir? The scent itself is quite mass appealing and I do think it will work in pretty much any situation you might find yourself in. I would, however, not use this for the gym. And I think it will work in both casual and formal settings. This is a warm kind of scent and it definitely got some depth to it. So when it comes to seasons, fall, winter and spring for sure. I'll try wearing it on warmer days as well and I will report back on how it smells like. But with that said, like always, wear what you want when you want. So who should buy Gucci Guilty Elixir? This is one I recommend trying before buying not because I feel that this is a challenging scent or anything like that, more because I think that it's intense fizzy amberiness together with its prominent floral side will be something you either absolutely love or dislike. If you usually enjoy ambery and vanillic scent and if you usually enjoy a bit of powderness and if you don't mind its floral aspect, then you will most likely enjoy it. However, if you dislike any of those four things, then Gucci Guilty Elixir is probably not for you. Again, I do suggest trying before buying. A few pros and cons, pros first. I think it smells great. It's definitely a compliment getter and the performance is really good. Cons, the price. I paid about 130 bucks 
for this but that was after Black Friday discounts so this is not cheap. So how am I going to rate this fragrance? I think Gucci Guilty Elixir is a really interesting release. There's definitely something sort of unique about it but at the same time and I know this sounds weird there's also a familiar feel to it. Different parts of Gucci Gitte Elixir remind me of different other scents. So it's not a truly unique scent, but I do think that the sum of all those parts have a slight unique touch to it. I think it smells really good. The performance is great. This is definitely a compliment getting kind of scent and I smile when I wear it. I'm going to give Gucci Gitte Elixir 8 or 8.5 out of 10. I would love to know how you feel about the Gucci Guilty Elixir and how you would rate it from 1 to 10 so make sure you comment. Please like this video, thank you, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell, make sure you check out the videos over there, oh yes, oh yes, and I'll see you in the next one.